To service or repair the seals, begin by removing the manifold. The manifold can be removed using a 6mm Allen wrench to remove the 8 hex socket head screws. To create separation between the manifold and crankcase, rotate the crankshaft until there is a gap between the manifold and crankcase. Once separation has been made, use two flat tip screwdrivers to pry manifold away from the crankcase. Place manifold on flat surface with low pressure seals facing up. Inspect the inside of the low pressure seal for wear or damage. Next, remove the seal case using reverse pliers. Be sure to avoid the first step of the seal case where the low pressure seal lies. Reach into the second step and twist as you pull away from the manifold. Inspect the seal case o-rings for cuts, nicks, or damage, and also the high pressure surface of the seal case for scoring or damage. Next, remove the V-packings with a screwdriver. There are two V-packings in each cylinder. Inspect for damage. The last piece to remove is the male adapter. Inspect for damage. To install new seals, begin with the male adapter. Next, install your set of V packings. Install the V packings with the groove side down into the manifold, resting on top of the male adapter. Before installing the seal case, you must first replace the o-ring included in your seal kit. Using a small screwdriver or pick, reach under the o-ring and remove from the groove. Replace with the new o-ring included in the seal kit. Apply lubricant to o-ring on seal case. Install the seal case with the o-ring down into the manifold. Press into place. Next, install the low pressure seal. The low pressure seal contains a spring on one side. Install with the spring side facing down and press into place. Before reinstalling the manifold, be sure to replace the plunger retainer gasket included in the seal kit. Begin by removing the seal retainer. The seal retainer has two holes, one of which has a tab that is installed facing down into the slot of the crankcase. Using a 10 mm wrench, Loosen and remove the plunger retainer and plunger. Inspect the plunger retainer gasket for nicks or tears. Then inspect the ceramic plunger for cracks or scoring to the surface. Remove the keyhole washer and barrier slinger located behind the plunger. Both parts serve as a barrier to prevent water from entering the crankcase. To reassemble, replace the gasket on the end of the plunger retainer. Next, install the barrier slinger with the dish side facing away from the crankcase. Then, install the keyhole washer. The slot can face in any direction. Insert the plunger retainer into the plunger. Before installing the plunger assembly, apply thread sealant on the end of the plunger rod.
tighten using a 10 millimeter wrench. Torque to specification. Install the seal retainer with tab facing down into the notch of the crankcase. Before reinstalling the manifold, rotate the crankshaft so the outside two plungers are even at the furthest distance from the crankcase. Install the manifold by hand, ensuring even alignment. Install the eight hex socket head screws. Tighten using appropriate cross pattern for even alignment using a six millimeter Allen wrench. Torque to specification.